Okay, so when cutting down your arrow shaft to the length you want, it's best to use a hacksaw to cut through so you don't split. If you use uh, pruning shears or anything like that, you're going to risk splitting the shaft. So we're going to use the hacksaw to cut through. And so now my arrow shaft is the length that I want it. So now the next part is I'm going to start working on the knot. And for our plain style bows, uh, our arrows, we use a, what we call a flared knot. So if you look, you can see how the knot comes out. So in modern archery, it's just straight as in the same diameter of the shaft, but with plain style, the, there's a, a flare to it. So that's what we're going to have to focus on working that down and starting to, to make that. That um, flare is important because of the type of shooting that we do. You need to be able to have something to help you to use a pinch grip, which is you know, what we use to, to hold on to the end of the arrow. So you're going to use a file. Um, for the cedar shafts that you guys have in your kit, these are going to be more difficult to make because of the diameter of the shaft. But you can still um, get somewhat of a flare on there and you guys can use your smaller files that are in your kit to do that but to demonstrate for uh, using a choke cherry or something like that you're going to want the diameter of the arrow shaft to be thicker than what the end product is going to be so i'm going to have to file all of this down to get to the diameter i want but i'm going to start with the doing the knock so i'm going to go down about an inch from the end and I'm going to start filing around to slowly start to create that knock. So you can see that I flattened uh, um, on two sides and that's going to allow me to kind of start to create the knock and then I filed down around the edge about an inch down and so that's kind of the start of it and then now I'm going to go in with a smaller file and start to fine-tune how I want it to look. Okay, so when you go to start the actual knock, same thing you're going to go, I'm going to go on the flattened ends here, and then I'm going to go right in the center, and it's best if you kind of angle the saw blade a little bit, and then I'm going to start to start to groove that is going to be your knock. you don't have a hacksaw you can use one of your files especially if you have a sided file like this but um, and a round file will work also it's good if you have multiple uh, types of small files is really useful and then you're just going to file it down you, your knock needs to be big enough to where it's going to be able to sit on your bowstring So for the most part, that is a flared knock. So on your cedar shaft one, you're just going to go down, do the same process, but since you don't want to end up losing the diameter of the, the arrow shaft, you're just going to make a groove around uh, about an inch down like you would on a, on a primitive style one. and just try to get the best flare that you possibly can.